What is going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and to get all the details in the case. If you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future uploads. Let's get right to the story. Principles and morals. Some people still hold them close and display those values and the way they carry themselves handle situations and by rules they live by every day some people stand on different principles than others think about it like this in the movie Scarface when a hit was put out on a man who was with his wife and kids Tony Montana would not do the job right then and there because his principles were no woman no kids but in real life some individuals stand on that I heard stories of old heads telling me back in the day if they were beefing with someone and saw that person with their family, they would get them a pass. Or on Sundays, everybody chilled. No violence. It was an unspoken rule. Don't shoot with kids on the block, things of that nature. But those days are long gone. Unfortunately, we live in a time in a lot of places, kids don't even play outside because of the disregard for life. And the fact, bullets don't have a name on them. Men are getting shot while holding their babies or in front of their kids, leaving them traumatized. And the crazy thing is, it became normal. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will take it to Irvington, New Jersey, to discuss a case of a young father hit in his own home in front of his girl and baby, and a woman and her nephew being charged with it. According to sources, at the time, 24-year-old Daquan Smith a former student of Newark Arts High School and graduate of dance, was relaxing on February 20th, 2020, inside of his apartment in the 400 block of Grove Street in Irvington. According to a social media post, the young couple had just returned home and was sharing some food from a local Newark restaurant called Cooper's. After eating, they decided to chill and enjoy the afternoon. After their child fell asleep, it was about 1.40 p.m. when a knock on the door startled the whole family. They were not expecting anyone. But this is where things get crazy. As Daquan went to answer the door, a person holding a gun was right there. No words were spoken and Daquan didn't even have a chance to react before shots went off and the shooter fled. As Daquan collapsed to the floor, critically wounded, his girlfriend and child could only watch the crazy scene unfold before police were called. Local police eventually arrived to the home to see people crying and confused. And as they entered the home, they quan laying unresponsive, suffering from a gunshot wound. Unfortunately, the young man was pronounced gone at 1.54 p.m. With family and friends confused and lost for words, police turned their attention to neighbors in which they all stated they didn't hear anything and were surprised to come outside to a large police presence in the neighborhood. Everyone sent their prayers to the family and stated that Quan was a humble young man just trying to take care of his family. But at first, it wasn't any suspects or motives. As an investigation started, two names would pop up, Lawrence Lewis and LaCara Lewis. It was alleged both had addresses in Newark but Lawrence had ties to the location that Quan was shot at. As the search started, the two were eventually found. And to everyone's surprise, it was discovered they were related. Allegedly, Lawrence was LaCara's nephew. Police speculated the young man was the shooter, but there was no evidence to back that up. The question was, why and was they Quan targeted? According to sources, for whatever reason, the motive was allegedly robbery and the two were charged with murder, robbery, conspiracy, and possession of a weapon. As they were booked though, the question still remained, why was the young man the target in the first place? And according to Daquan's girlfriend, it wasn't any conversation, just a knock at the door and shots fired. Either way, it's a sad day and time when a man can be gunned down at his home in front of his family. This case hasn't made it to trial yet, and all charges are alleged. The two are innocent until proven otherwise. Rest in peace to Daquan. I send my prayers and condolences to his family. 
I'm sure there's a lot more to this situation than we could ever imagine. But more of the story, whatever the motive was for the hit on this young man, it was done in front of his kid and girl, who both got to not only live with the loss, but the trauma of seeing that and the pain. Like I said earlier, it's no more principles and morals out here. It's bad enough we are killing each other at an alarming rate. Then you hear stories like this. It just makes it tough to think that we can't even enjoy a regular day with family without a tragedy happening. So remember, we gotta succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood tale. Man, it's a crazy situation. You feel me? This is a requested video. You know, I've been posted dead this, but I was trying to wait to see exactly what happened in the case. But as of now, you know, they got charged. You feel me? This was like two years ago. It haven't made it to trial. And yeah, they was related, you know. Lawrence was her nephew. For whatever reason, they pulled up over there. Some people in the community was alleging it supposed to have been a robbery. Maybe it went bad. But the thing is, his girlfriend say she ain't hit nothing. So what I'm thinking, if it was a robbery, you would have heard somebody say something. You would have heard somebody trying to get in the home. But that wasn't the case. I'm not sure what kind of lifestyle Daquan lived. His relatives said, you know, he was a family man just doing the right thing. So I don't know if they targeted the wrong house or they thought something was in the house that wasn't in the house. But situations like this crazy. Like I said, that man kid was in there. His girl was right there. You feel me? Like for somebody just to knock on the door and you open the door and they just shoot. That's crazy, man. So maybe they had a prior beef. That's all I could think about. That's the only thing that makes sense in my opinion. You know, like I said, maybe mistaken identity, a prior beef, or something like that. Because they saying it's a robbery, but nothing one took. For it to be a robbery, something gotta be took, you feel me? But yeah, man, messed up situation at the end of the day, man. Rest in peace, Daquan, you feel me? I send my prayers and condolences to his family. And like I was saying, man, principles and morals. You know, if the situation was that serious, whatever they beef was about, or whatever they felt as though, they had to do that to him. And you feel me? I ain't saying it's right, but it's a time and a place to handle situations. And I just feel like that one cool at the end of the day, man. You leave this baby traumatized and without her father. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this, man, in the comments. Y'all already know it's all love. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. It's your boy Tony two times. Love y'all, fam. I'm out.